Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about a real data recovery case. WD MyBook External Hard Drive Data Recovery. This video is going to cover the following questions. 1. How to swap the WD hard drive PCB board? 2. How to do the PCB board from a transfer? 3. How to decrypt WD MyBook external hard drive? Hello everyone. This video, we are going to show you how did we successfully recover the data from WD 3TB MyBook external hard drive step by step. This is a hard drive we received from a local computer store. The customer say, WD MyBook drive not showing on my computer, not showing up on disk management. They send the hard drive to a local computer store. The computer store tests the hard drive and they decide to send uh, to professional data recovery. Uh, they send hard drive to us. This is all we got. 3.0 terabyte hard drive. Set it to USB 3.0 adapter, power adapter case. This is all we got. In the external case, power it up. You can hear the hard drive power up. This is the device manager. Uh, this is uh, my hard drive, system drive. This is uh, Samsung drive. This is the case. So the drive does not show up on the device manager. Then you can hear the hard drive stop spinning. Stop spinning. If I use hand to touch the hard drive, I can I can feel the hard drive doesn't spin anymore. This is the basic symptom. When you power it up, the hard drive spin up. And uh, after a few seconds, it will stop, stop spinning. So we suspect the controller board is overheated, is a problem. So we power off the case and take off the hard drive. We are going to swap this controller board. This controller board comes with a memory chip. So we cannot swap the board directly. We have to find another identical board and uh, do the firmware transfer for this chip, then do the controller board swap. We find identical board. It is always a good idea to uh, to write the hard drive serial number onto the PCB board. So we know this piece of board belongs to who. This hard drive serial number, the last four digit is 2965. So we write a sticker on say, bad PCB board, 
The number is 2965. So we know, so we know this board belongs to this hard drive. Now we decide to swap the controller board to go further test. This controller board number is uh, six two zero six zero seven seven one six nine eight dash zero zero four. So we find a identical board. The number also is. 2060771698-004 So these two boards identical this is the bad one this is the good one and also for this model hard drive controller board there is a memory chip like this one this chip is uh, the BIOS chip for the controller board. This is the bad board. This is the good board. We are going to transfer information from this chip, from the bad board, to this chip, to the good board. We we'll call this as a con controller board firmware transfer. We did firmware transfer from this board to this good donor board. We swapped these two chips. This is good donor board. We are going to put this good donor board to this hard drive and then put this hard drive to this external case to see how it goes. This is a device manager. This is a disk management. We see uh, the external read USB device showed up and also in the disk management the drive showed up, it is 3 terabytes, but it's not initialized, means the data is not acce accessible. This is our own data recovery software. The hard drive showed up 3 terabytes, cylinder, track, sector, everything perfect. That means the controller board swapping successful. The controller board is working now, but the data is not accessible. Now, here is the current situation. This is the original hard drive. This is the broken PCB board. We fix the PCB board problem by swapping the PCB board. Now, the hard drive is accessible through the computer but we cannot see the file system. We cannot see the client's data. So we suspect this, my book, Western Digital External Hard Drive, need original adapter to read the data from this hard drive. This is the original hard drive. This is the good controller board with firmware transfer. This is the original USB SATA to USB 3.0 adapter. We're going to power it up to see how it goes. No spin, nothing happened. That means this adapter is broken. Now, this is the original hard drive. This is the broken controller board. We swap this broken controller board by this good controller board. We did from a transfer uh, between these two chips. Okay, I put this good controller board to this hard drive. 
we hook this one to the working hard drive. But unfortunately, the hard drive doesn't spin. That means this original SATA to USB 3.0 adapter is broken as well. So we decide to buy a brand new Western Digital MyBook 3TB exact same external hard drive then we take out the SATA to USB 3.0 adapter we are going to use this adapter to read the hard drive okay this is the original hard drive this is the donor good controller board we did from a transfer to it this is a brand new SATA to USB 3.0 adapter we took it off from uh, this brand new external hard drive we're going to power it up to see how it goes on the computer this is a device manager this is a disk management we're going to see what's happened when powered up See, in the device manager, WD, WD, my book, 1140 USB device, right? And uh, even the data is showed up as well. Oh, the data is back now. Oh, that's great. Okay. Let's summarize the whole case. This is the original hard drive. This is the original broken controller board. This is the original broken SATA to USB 3.0 adapter. This is what we have done. We did from a transfer from this bad board to this good board between these two chips. We swap the controller board. We use the good board onto this hard drive. The hard drive is working now. We also bought a brand new exact same Western Digital MyBook 3TB external hard drive. We take out the SATA to USB 3.0 adapter will hook this adapter to this fixed hard drive class data back there is one special thing we want to mention is this particular model version digital my book 3 terabytes hard drive need this original adapter to read the hard drive file system okay we successfully recovered the data from wd my book three terabytes external hard drive we did three things first we did controller board from a transfer on this chip we did controller board swapping on this board we did SATA to USB 3.0 adapter swapping as well now all the data is back to the client this is our website www hdd-parts.com 
we have many many different brand name hard drive controller board like uh, Seagate, uh, Western Digital, Hitachi, Toshiba, uh, IBM, from IDE to SATA, from laptop to desktop. If you need a hardware controller board, you can drop us an uh, email or scan the hard drive front side and the controller board send out the pictures. Our technician will try our best to help you. Hopefully this video is helpful to your data recovery. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.